you guys welcome back to our channel today i'm going to show you how to create a custom email using your domain and link it with gmail so that you can send or receive emails using that custom email so let's get started to do that you'll first need to add your website or your domain to cloudfair i've already made a video tutorial showing you how to do that you can watch it over here i also leave a link in the video description for you to watch that video once you've added your domain on cloudfair you are going to log into your cloudfair account just like this and then select your domain after selecting your domain we are going to go to emails over here if you have already enabled or created a custom email we're going to go ahead and delete it if you haven't created one you can just skip this step so let's go ahead and just disable this one then disable then we're going to delete the records as well once that is done we're going to go to dns then this is how our dns looks like now let's go ahead and create our custom domain then reroute it to our gmail account so let me go ahead and show you how you can do that today we are going to be using this guy over here called improvmx.com i'm going to leave a link in the description for this one over here once you're on the website all you have to do is enter your domain name over here so let's go ahead and enter our domain then here you're going to enter your email address the one you want to reroute to the one which you want your emails to be received on so i'm just going to put on this email over here so let's go ahead and put on our email after doing that we're going to click on create a free alert now here we are going to go ahead and enter our name so you can enter any name of your choice then we're going to just select uh, some random stuff over here just filling in this then click on save after that now we have to verify our email so let's go ahead and go to our to our, our gmail then we click on this one to verify our email now we can remove this one over here to continue from here now we're going to agree to the terms and condition then validate your account after your account has been validated now we're going to add a custom email to add a custom email is very simple just over here you just write in that custom domain which you want to use so for example i'm going to type in admin so your custom email will be admin at vpn files the site something like that so if you want to add and other custom emails you can do that i don't know how many they allow you to create here but as you can see after adding this one i'm allowed to add another one over here but for the sake of this video i'm only just going to use this one the admin at net files to the site after doing that we now need to fix our dns records so that we can be able to receive the emails so let's go ahead and click on this one now we have to put this dns records on our cloudfair account now we're going to go ahead and copy this one the priority is 10 and the type is mx so let's go to our cloudfair then click on add record here we're going to put add then we're going to change this one to mx remember it was mx then we're going to paste what we've copied over here we're going to remove the dot at the end then we're going to put 10 remember the priority was 10 so let's go ahead and save this one let's go back again and copy the second one add another record it's an mx record then put add paste it again remove remove the dot at the end make sure it ends with that com then this one was 20 the priority was 20 and let's go ahead and save it after saving that one we're going to add this one this one is a text so since this one is a text remember this one is a text so it's just going to copy this one go back add another record this one is a text so we can just put on the text then here we're going to put on add again then we're going to paste our text over here after i'm going to save after updating our dns records if we go back on check again just click on check again as you can see it says email forwarding active if you go if you check and then it doesn't say this one you can just wait a few seconds or a minute 
then check again everything will be fine so now you can go ahead and test it so you can just click on this one to test so now if you go back to your gmail you will have received this email over here saying that admin at vpn files to site is working fine you can also test it by sending an email to this address if you send an email to this address you must be you must receive it on this email so this is an example of me doing that so let me send an email to my newly created custom email as you can see we have received the email over here and uh, this is a test mail you now have created your custom email and forwarded it to gmail so that you can receive emails using that gmail now we let's deal with when you want to send emails using that email so let me show you how you can do that you are going to use this one called brevo i'll also leave a link in the video in the video description for this one let's go ahead and click on sign up after signing up let's go ahead and click on our email account once we have created our email just like this one all we have to do is click on this guy over here then click on send and domains and dedicated ip after doing that we are going to go ahead and click on domains we're going to click on a domain now we're going to put on our domain name over here so let's go ahead and put on our domain name over here here we're going to click on authenticated domain yourself so let's go ahead and click on that one so now we're going to go to our cloudflare again and add in these records so let me go ahead and copy the contest on this one it is a text so let's go back to our cloudflare account add a new record click on text then here we're going to put add then we're going to paste what we've copied over here we'll go back here and then we copy this one now we're going to copy everything so we're just going to copy the name and the contest as well so we'll copy the name it is a text as well so if we go back here a new record then the text we're going to paste in the name so let's copy the contact then paste it over here click on save here we have to add this one as well so let's go ahead and copy the name then add another record it's a text record then we can paste in the name copy the content and paste it over here then we're going to save after adding all the required dns we are going to go ahead and click on authenticate this domain so click on this one as you, as you can see it says the domain was successfully authenticated so now we are going to go ahead and click on this guy over here and click on smtp and api then now we're going to go back to our gmail account click on settings click on all settings then we're going to click on account and import now under send email as we're going to click on add another email address then over here you're just going to put on your custom email over here so let's go ahead and put on our custom email this one then unselect this one over here then click on next now we're going to go back to brevo and but before we add this over here you have to make sure that you have two-factor authentication enabled on your gmail account so if you don't know how to do that just click on manage your account you can also do this on your phone so and then search for two over here you'll find the two-factor authentication you'll be asked to enter your password then after entering your password you'll be able to set up the two-factor authentication so once you've set up your two-factor authentication you can continue the tutorial here we're going to generate a new key so let's go ahead and generate the new key i'm going to name it email you can name it anything you want to so then click on generate then you're going to copy it make sure you actually copy it since uh, after clicking ok you won't be able to copy it again so let's go ahead and copy this guy click on ok now uh, let's go back to this guy over here go back to this guy 
then you're going to paste the password over here the copied password just gonna paste it over here for the username you're just going to copy this guy and paste him over here for the server we're going to use this one and paste him over here after doing that we are just going to click on add account after doing that you will see something like this so let's go back to our gmail then you need to receive this email over here so click on this email then click on this one then click on confirm after doing that everything will be set now if you click on compose over here you'll be able to select either your old email address to send from your email old email address or your new email address this one over here if you want to have this one as your default email address if you go back to your settings then go to see all settings then on accounts and imports over here you can make this one as your default email address if you click on make as default this one will be your default email address that's how you can create a custom email using your domain use it to receive and send emails on gmail if you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or suggestions don't hesitate to leave them below and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos until then take care and peace